In this short little tutorial video, we're going to show you how to use the Roland XS switchers with LED walls. LED walls are great flexible systems for creating visual environments used in live production, corporate AV, retail, houses of worship, and commercial spaces. Video content requires scaling to be properly displayed on these custom configurations. One of the many features found on the Roland XS switchers includes output scaling. The Roland XS AV Matrix switchers come in three models, all with eight video input channels, and that include a two output, a three output, and a four output model. Powerful processing provides pixel accurate scaling, cropping, image processing, and seamless switching to output destinations to your LED panels, creating immersive visual environments. The XS series all-in-one design reduces latency, improves your setup time with less cabling and equipment, and provides a streamlined workflow and less points of failure in your signal flow. Equipped with standard HDMI or built-in HDBase-T outputs, the Roland XS series allows you to send your mixed audio and video signal over a network cable up to 328 feet to your LED wall driver. Today we are going to be connecting to the Chavez PVPX3, which is a 3.9 mil video wall panel system. So I have the driver here right now. The first thing we're going to do is build our LED wall panels. Step number two, we're going to select our output resolution. For this example, we're going to use 1920 by 1080. Step number three, we need to determine our panel wall size. So our current configuration is four panels wide by two panels tall. Each panel is 128 pixels by 128 pixels. So for this particular configuration, it is 512 pixels by 256 pixels. Next, let's set up the XS series to work with the LED video wall. I'm going to click on the menu, go to my video output, output number one. Now I can go in here and physically select either HDMI or HDBase-T connections from the output of the XS series. I'm going to select HDMI. Now I'm going to go to my video resolution. I want to make sure my video resolution on the XS closely matches the LED video wall driver. In this case, we have it set at 1080p. Next, let's take a look at the HDCP output enable. Currently, right now, we have it disabled. The vid this video wall driver works best with HDCP disabled. Let's look at the color space. Currently right now, this LED video wall driver accepts an RGB color space. This also has a 0 to 255, which just works best. Also, we have a 16 to 235. The XS can also output video resolutions such as 444 or 422 color spaces. But for this example, we're going to use 0 to 255 RGB color space. Lastly, let's take a look at the DVID or HDMI signal flow. Currently right now, this LED driver accepts a DVI-D. I can also accept an HDMI signal as well. Now we're all set up to work with our video wall. All right, now that we've set up our video resolution, our HDCP enable, our color space, and our signal flow, um, let's take a look. As we mentioned, uh, the XS has pixel accurate scaling. So I'm going to go down and show you how to set that up. Right now, I'm in full cropping mode. So I'm going to go that and change that to manual. And now I'm going to go down. As you can see, um, it actually crops my entire image 128 pixels by 128 pixels. As we mentioned, with this particular screen setup, LED wall, we actually have 512 by 256. So as you can see, as I'm scrolling through here, it's stretching that video across the LED panels until I get to 512. There we go. And all I have to do is hit enter. And now I can go down and change my vertical size. And I just need to get to 256. So you can see it's scrolling down until I get to 256. And there, I'm all set up. Pixel accurate scaling to 512 by 256. Again, you can type in any resolution and it'll crop and scale it to that particular size.